Hello, welcome to this live consultation. My name is Dr. Andrew Newkirk, and I practice at Carillon Vision Care in Glenview, Illinois. Today we're going to be talking about nearsightedness, or myopia, and how it affects our children. In our practice, we've been prescribing this exciting new technology known as MySight contact lenses to help slow the progression of myopia in children. Myopia, again commonly referred to as nearsightedness, is a common condition of the eyeball where the light rays focus incorrectly causing the distance vision to be blurry. Myopia is caused by the eye growing longer or elongating over time. As the eye grows longer, certain structures in the eye essentially kind of start to stretch out, mainly the retina, and this can lead to very serious sight-threatening conditions later in life, such as retinal detachments, glaucoma, myopic maculopathy, and even cataracts. Some kids, even with moderate to lower amounts of myopia, are at much higher risk for these sight-threatening conditions later in life. In the United States, approximately 42% of all Americans are now nearsighted. Nearsightedness typically starts around school age and continues to progress all the way up until approximately 20 years old or so. This is due in part to changes in our lifestyle, mainly spending more time indoors and less time playing outside, and also other lifestyle changes such as increased reading, digital device use, and near time. We found in our practice that kids are spending exponentially more time over the last decade anyways using their digital devices just for school and e-learning. And now with the additional challenges that are facing us with COVID and a lot of our children learning from home, we found that with our patient population, school-aged children, digital device use is at an all-time high. The traditional treatment of myopia was with glasses or conventional contact lenses, but these corrective lenses would simply only correct the vision, not treat the actual myopia itself. My sight contact lenses do both. My sight one day contact lenses are the first and only FDA approved soft contact lens that is clinically proven to slow the progression of myopia in children when we initiate treatment between the ages of 8 and 12 years old. These lenses work by utilizing something we call active control technology which uses a set of concentric rings that not only corrects the distance vision but slows the elongation of the eyeball as well. Today we're going to be meeting with my patient Alina and her mother, whom I first prescribed these MySight lenses to approximately three months ago. She's coming in today for her standard follow-up. All right guys, come on over. So here to help me today is Yusra and her daughter Alina. Initially, Alina has myopia in both of her eyes and I prescribed MySight One Day contact lenses to her three months ago. She's here today for her follow-up. So Alina, do you remember when it was you first started noticing problems with your vision? I think it was when I was in kindergarten. I started getting headaches and then I, started, I started, couldn't see the board clearly. Do you remember telling your mom about it or do you think that that was just kind of normal? I remember telling my mom about it. Yeah, and mom, do you remember what happened after that? For some reason, maybe she was due for an eye check anyways. I had some thoughts like, well, maybe this is her vision. But I also thought, oh, maybe it's too early. She's pretty young. Um, so we went in and had her eyes checked. And so it turned out that she needed glasses or her prescription was um, you know, significant enough that she needed glasses. Uh, so that's when we started. And then I think she had a yearly checkup after that for two years. And each time her prescription changed a little bit. And I think it was after that um, you know, third checkup overall where they said, you know, she's changing kind of fast. You might want to think about like myopia management. And that kind of led us towards thinking about some of these options. Gotcha. Do you remember the first time that you got glasses? Do you remember being excited about it? Yes. Being able to see everything clearly again, a world yeah. much better, clearer place. Yes. And do you remember going back to the eye doctor again and what it was like to get the updated prescription? I remember it was much more clearer. You had to get another pair of new glasses, which you were also excited about. Yes. <laughs> well, and your eyes were changing at a very, very fast rate. And so basically, every time that you got a new pair of glasses, it was almost like getting glasses again for the very first time ever, right? Mm -hmm. And I have a high prescription myself as well, too. So I went through an ex a similar thing when I was your age. So I'm excited that we have technologies now where we can slow that down. So, Miss Alina, you've now had these MySight contact lenses for about three months now. So thinking way back to three months ago, back when you were still a second grader, um, and now fast forwarding to today, what has, what has been the most positive experience or what's been the best thing about wearing these lenses? 
I don't really don't have to worry about anything breaking. I really have to go looking for my glasses if like I go to sleep and like in the car and then when I get and then the next morning I need to find them. I don't have to go looking. I just know that they're my contacts and I'm at the bathroom. I can go put them in. So are you having any problem seeing things in the distance at all? No, no problem. Does it seem very similar to the way you would see with your old glasses or do you feel like it might even be a little bit better? A little bit better. Very good. And then how about your near vision? Are you having any issues while looking at screens and digital devices? And then I know you're back in digital e-learning school right now, so we're doing a lot of that. So any issues right there? No, no issues. So you're wearing them all day long? Yes. Are you having any issues with comfort throughout the day? No, they feel totally comfortable. Awesome. Can you even tell there's anything in your eyes? No. All right, excellent. All right, Alina, let's go see your three-month follow-up. Really though, so how, your vision really has been perfect with these contact lenses, have you yeah. noticed any issues at all? No. All right, so let's check your vision here a little bit. I'm going to have you cover your left eye with this paddle point. Right, so you up a little bit there. Can you read those letters for me right there? E, G, N, D, H. Very good. Can you read any of those letters for me right there? O, F, L, CT. Fantastic. Are you able to guess at any of those? First one, T, E, V, and the last one's O. Very good. Go ahead and cover the other eye for me now. Are you able to read any of those letters for me there? E, T, H, V, A. Wait, B. What's the last letter? All right. B? B. What can you read those for me? N O C R T. Very good. Can you read any of these for me right there? V O E L A. Fantastic. Both eyes together. Can you read any of those for me right there? A P E O F. Excellent. And I would like you to guess at these letters for me right there. E V O T L. Fantastic. And we're at a perfect 2020 there. I'm going to check your near vision as well, too. And since you're on digital devices all the time, <laughs> I'd like you to read that very bottom line for me right there. Small print can be very difficult to read in poor lighting conditions. Pretty easy to see that? Yeah. I love it. Excellent. I want you to focus on that guy going fishing there for me. Where, where's the guy going fishing? Light, which oh. hasn't really done anything. <laughs> it's so bright in here anyways. So right there, that guy in the mirror right there. Keep looking mm -hmm. at that guy going fishing. All right, and I'm gonna put you in the microscope here next to make sure those lenses are looking mm -hmm. the way they're supposed to. So chin in that rest, forehead all the way towards the bar. Is that okay right there? Mm -hmm. Perfect. And with your eyes only, look to the left for me. And now look to the right and look up. And look all the way to the left for me again. And to the right. And look up to the ceiling for me. Fantastic, you can go ahead and sit back. And that pretty much concludes the three month follow up.
good. Is my sight one day contact lenses safe? As with any contact lens, there are always slight risks of an infection and inflammation, but as long as you're following the guidelines to how these are prescribed, these risks are very, very minimal. My sight one day contact lenses are a one day throwaway soft contact lens. We always recommend that children always wash their hands really well before putting in or taking out or handling the lenses in any way whatsoever. My child is only eight years old. Can they really wear contact lenses? Well, as we just saw, Alina did very, very well, and we started her in this MySight program when she was still a second grader and just barely eight years old. MySight One Day Contact Lenses do have FDA approval to fit children in as early as eight years old. We've been very successful with training multiple eight-year-old patients um, to put contact lenses in and out on their own. We find that the children are very excited and motivated that want to be able to do this. Typically, 50% of our patients will tell us that contact lenses are fairly easy to put them in at the end of a week, and over 85% of our patients tell them that it's very easy to put in contact lenses at the, after wearing them for a month. How long do you keep children in this contact lens? So the answer is we start prescribing MySight contact lenses between the ages of eight and 12 years old. We continue to keep children in these lenses until their prescription stops changing or stabilizes and the eye stops growing. So I've been reading about this Brilliant Futures program which also talks about MySight. So the Brilliant Futures program is our comprehensive program for prescribing MySight contact lenses. Not only does it in include the MySight lenses themselves, but it involves close monitoring of your child as they progress through this program. We have a nice app that's put together so you can keep in contact with your local doctor that's prescribing these lenses, and we have a number of other tools that we can use to kind of monitor your child's growth over the next few years. How much does the Brilliant Futures or MySight program cost? And the answer is, is that it varies by the practice. You can go on the Cooper Vision website to find a provider. There's a specific checkbox that you can click for the Brilliant Futures program and find who's closest to you. Then call that office and you can ask for specific pricing. How often does my child need to wear these MySight contact lenses once they are prescribed? So MySight contact lenses, in order to have a clinically significant difference, we need to make sure that the children are wearing them a minimum out of six out of seven days per week and at least 10 hours per day. But as we've seen in clinical practice, and as you just heard from Alina, most of our patients are wearing them from the moment they wake up until the moment they go to bed, just like a lot of us adults wear our contact lenses with no issues at all. What if my child really likes their glasses and wants to wear them as well? Well, again, because of these guidelines here, and we do have a couple of young patients that really do enjoy wearing their glasses, we just have to make sure that we're adhering to those six out of seven days a week and minimum of 10 hours a day guidelines. If they wanna take a break and wear their glasses one day a week, that's absolutely fine. So how are my sight lenses different from a regular contact lens? So conventional contact lenses just correct the distance vision. They don't actually do anything to treat the myopia. The MySight lenses have that active control technology which corrects the distance vision, but it also acts to slow the growth of the physically elongation of the eyeball. I am myopic, but my child's myopia is already increased past mine. Why is this? Well, that's a very good question. So genetics play a large role when determining if a child is going to become my myopic or not. If one or both parents have myopia, certainly the child is much more likely to develop this. Also, lifestyle is playing a large role here. The amount of time spent outdoors, or rather the reduced amount of time our kids are spending outdoors, the increase in near work, and also how close they're holding devices. Does this look familiar to anybody? Up to them. And also the amount of time that they're spending doing their near work all lead to the progression of myopia. So thank you everybody. Please visit coopervision.com to learn more about the Brilliant Futures Myopia Management Program and the MySight One Day Contact Lenses.